The city of Spokane is cracking down on graffiti. Starting this week, business and property owners have 10 days to remove graffiti from their pro uh, property or they'll face a fine. KXLY 4's Annie Bishop live in Spokane tonight. Annie, why the change? Well, the change is not about making money. It's really about taking pride in our community. The idea is to cover up graffiti as soon as it happens, much like the owner of this building, as you can see, has done several times before. Graffiti experts say tagging can lead uh, to leave, leave a bad impression, that is, and also lead to more crime. Alex Hernandez is an artist on paper and on skin. He doesn't, however, appreciate the artwork outside the building now covered with white paint. We've seen DUI I don't know how many different times and it's just horrid. So basically we cover it up because we all work in an art environment and what they put on our walls is crap. It's nothing that nobody wants to look at. The city now hopes more and more property owners will act just as quickly with a new revised graffiti ordinance. The ordinance expands the definition of graffiti from gang and violence related to anything spray painted on a building without permission. It also requires business and property owners to cover it up within 10 days of receiving a notice from the city. Randall Robertson, owner of Graffiti Removal Services, testified before city council to get the new ordinance passed. I don't like living uh, in a slum. and I, 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 It makes me feel like I'm in a slum. Um, so that it, 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 it feels like crime. Last year, graffiti caused more than $100,000 in damage across the city. It reminds me of Chicago. Uh, it reminds me of Southern California. It is not that bad, but it's going that direction. While Robertson stands to cash in on the revised ordinance, he says it's about much more. I don't like what it does to our community. Uh, it makes it look like a slum and it promotes more. Another reason why Hernandez will be ready to put his pencil down and pick up a paintbrush when he needs to. It takes away the pomp of having, you know, hey, I spray painted this guy's shop, you know, and we cover it up and there's nothing there for him to come back later and take pictures or anything else to brag about what they did, so we just get rid of it. And if you can't afford to hire someone to cover up the graffiti or you simply just do not have time, uh, there is Spokane Cops can help with its Paint Out Graffiti program. For more information or if you'd like to report graffiti in your neighborhood, you can call Crime Check at 456-2233. Or if you see graffiti in progress, you're asked to call 911. Reporting live in Spokane, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.